Hey guys, it's May May, and I am so excited to tell you that my stamp set, Oh Snap, is back in stock. I was not sure which one I wanted to bring back first, but this is the one. Um, I may or may not have mentioned to you guys that I was going to be bringing back some of the stamp sets slowly but surely, and I had to pick one to, to um, do that with, so this is the one I chose, and I'll tell you why in a few minutes, but for now, the stamp set that I brought back is Oh Snap, and this is the Polaroid Picture Stamp. You can see that one here. So you have this stamp, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different sentiments. Those sentiments are take a picture, it'll last longer, making memories, so stinking cute, say cheese, picture perfect, a great day, worth one thousand words, or as we say in the South, worth a thousand words, strike a pose, smile, BFFs, that's best friends forever, and shake it. And then you also, like I said, get the Polaroid frame. But at the same time I brought this one back, for those of you who already have that stamp set, I created one called Oh Snap Friends. Now this is the first in a series of companion sets that we will have that'll go with the Oh Snap set. I'm really excited about this one. And I'll show you why this goes with this in just a few minutes, but let's go over what you get. On this stamp set, you get you plus me equals, and I want to point this out. There's nothing connected to this stamp set, so you can make it anything you want to make. If you have a stamp in your stash that you want to make, or you can use happy, which is the smiley face, or love, which is the heart. So you get a smiley face and also a heart. That smile, though, happy together, love at first sight, bliss, journey, snapshot, good times, and live every day. You also get this cute little camera. This camera measures, somebody might ask me, so let's see. This little camera is an inch and a half by a little over an inch, about an inch and three eighths if you, when you include the little flash at the top. So there you go, that is the companion set. Now you might be wondering how much these are. This one is $11.99 and then this one is $7.99. So you can get these at my um, website which I will link below. But I thought we would play a little bit. So what I did was I took the Polaroid set or the big Polaroid stamp. Let me show you that. This is the big stamp and I use a big old block. And let me tell you what I do. I don't use this block for anything really. I had it, I think I got it on clearance one time. So I just load this little frame up and I leave it there all the time. I just clean it here and leave it here. For me, that's just easier. And then I just punched out a bunch of these in different colors because I wanted to just play with some stamps. Now, the original stamp set, I have at least one, maybe more videos using this set, so I will link that video below. One of them is super cool, and I'm going to put a picture in, um, in here so you can see it, is a mini album that I created in the style of the um, photo apps that you see on your iPhone, and it's using this little um, frame. It's really cute, and I'll link that video for you below. So today, we're going to work with these guys. Now, the reason I created a companion set the companion, all of these in, all of these little words fit inside this little box. That's the point of the companion set. So let me get a smaller block. Here's one. And let's just start with like you plus me. So I'm going to take this little guy off and put it onto my block. If you've never used a stamp set before, these stamp sets are photopolymer. So they are nice and sturdy and will last you a long time. And they stick automatically to an acrylic block. So you just load that up. Now I'm going to put U plus me equals right here. Super cute. And I'm going to clean this off real quick. And now I'm going to use the little heart. Now, the little heart was a little bit selfish. I don't have a tiny heart um, stamp. And I really wanted one. So I thought if I'm going to make one, I'm going to put it on this stamp set so I can have one. U plus me equals love. I think that is super cute. We'll bring it up where you guys can see it. You plus me equals love. You could also use the smiley face on there. Let's do some more and put the heart back real quick. My fingers are going to be very inky, so ignore inky fingers. Let's do the next one down the line. This one is that smile, though. And I have to tell you, my daughter-in-law and my son, they always use that little saying, like, that hair, though, that smile, though, that face, though. And I just thought that was so cute. And I thought this would be really cute at the bottom of this um, frame when you have a picture in there. I think that will be so cute. So there's that smile, though. How cute. I love it. I love that font. I don't remember what that is, but I love it. Okay. And then let's put this one back and do another one. This one is happy together. I think this is really cute, too. Now, if you have a longer block, you don't have to load these like I am caddy corner, but it doesn't bother me to do that. 
ink this dude up. Bring another frame over and show you how this one works. I feel like I loaded this one crooked. Maybe not. So this one is happy together. I love it. Love it, love it. Let's do another one. This one is love at first sight. I thought this was really cute. Stamp that little guy down. So there's love at first sight. Cute, huh? All right, let's do another one. This one says bliss. The cool thing about these companion sets that I'll be creating, you won't have to use them just with that, um, just with this other stamp set. You can use this for anything. I mean, what could you use the bliss stamp on? So many different things. And I also love this font. Look at that one. So cute. I can think of a billion things you could use bliss for. Weddings, baby showers, um, anything. Anything where you're blissfully happy. All right, let's do journey. That's another one. Think about that if you're doing like um, graduation or um, someone's birthday or your scrapbooking, the journey. Isn't that neat? So you can use that one a good bit too. Love it. I'm doing a lot of red. Let's change the color. Let's do a blue. Okay. This one says snapshot. Again, this is something you can use with a lot of things. So there's snapshot. I have to hold it for a second for it to focus. Let's do this bright orange. I like it. I'm going to use good times. See how these can be used for, I mean, good times can be anything. Who knows what you could use it for. I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. That's another good thing about the acrylic stamps with the acrylic block. You can see through them and put them right where you want them without a positioner. Pretty cool, huh? Good times. Let's do the last one, the last sentiment on this one. And it is live every day. That's been a very popular saying lately. I thought that would be a good one to add because you could use this for cards or anything. So there is live every day. Super cute. All right, you know I got to stamp that um, smiley face and the camera real quick to show you what those look like. Here's the camera that here. I love this camera. It's kind of vintage. I'm just going to use a piece of scratch paper and show you how this stamps. Right, and then press down. Now it's a full image stamp, so you want to make sure you get pressure all the way through. Look at that. I love it. That little camera can be used for a lot of stuff too. So cute. All right, let's do the smiley face. We'll do it on that same little sheet of paper. Here's our smiley face. Now you could really, if you do a planner, this is a perfect stamp. This one and the heart are perfect for planners. Or if you like to do little smiley faces for your kids or things like that, that's super cute for that. Super cute. Okay, so that is the entire stamp set. That is the, and this one is called Oh Snap Friends because it is a companion set. So when you look for it online on my Etsy store, that's what you'll look for. Now let's make a card and I'll show you the reason I brought back Oh Snap first. I'm going to cut the center out of this and I'm just going to use my ruler and X-Acto knife. Now I do want to tell you, if you have a Cricut Explore um, Cricut Craft Room, any of those things where you can put shapes into your um, into your software and then cut something out, this would be super easy to create a shape for yourself. It's just squares. So you can measure the stamp and just create this so you can pre-cut this whenever you need it. You know, have a bunch of them already cut inside and out. And that may be confusing, so I'm going to do a video on that soon. So be watching for that. I'll show you how to create this using your cutting machines, and you won't even have to do this by hand. So now we have that little guy cut out, and now I'm going to bring some acetate. What I thought about was, with all the shaker cards being so popular right now, that this needs to be a shaker card. I think it'll be super cute. What I'm going to do is stick this down to the corner of my acetate here, and then I will cut it away. So that way I'm not wasting any of the acetate. This is also great for little scraps of acetate if you have any laying around. 
I don't yet. I'm still opening this package or just getting to open this package so I still have the freshness of it. So we're going to use the whole sheets. Let's get that stuck down. And cut this away. So now this has a little acetate sheet so it's perfect to be ready for a shaker card. And let's go ahead and put the um, dimensional adhesive back here in the back. There's ink all over my hands. I do it every time I play with stamps. Every time. Cut some strips. This one here. That one's just a little extra there for me. And now I'm going to go up here and start filling in the sides and the top. Now remember, on the sides and the top, you want to make this so that the items you put in as the shaker don't fall out. So you want your adhesive to touch all the way around when you do this. Cut this one in half and make it thin. So the point is we're kind of making a closed in box shape. If you use some pretty big pieces in there it won't even matter. So just get that laid down. And I'm doing it so you won't see it through the, from the front. So I'm doing it right to the edge of that frame. Now this um, dimensional tape I'm using here is really thin so I'm going to double it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the backer off of all of this and then put another strip down on top of it. So now that I have all of the um, dimensional tape on here I like to take my powder tool and run it around the edges inside of here because it will stick to any adhesive that won't be sticking on the paper and no matter how hard you try to get these lined up just perfect you're not going to get them just right and there might be some adhesive showing plus this helps with the static clean inside so I'm going to let that sit and then we'll blow it off before we um, actually put the card together now let's put our card base together now you can see here I've picked a bright yellow piece of paper for our base this striped paper with some glitter stars for our background and then our frame will go right there. I think that looks so cute and it will help with the shaker portion there too because of the stars and the glitter in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is adhere this guy down to here. This is a standard A2 size card that I'm making today. Just using a little ATG on there. And I just cut this a quarter of an inch shy so we'd have a nice bright yellow border all the way around. I love this border. I'm kind of, this is kind of 80s colors. This takes me back. I've been using that pack a lot. Let me show you this pack of paper. It's this one from Michaels. It's a um, little mismatched. I have been using it a lot. I got it on clearance for like $2.99. Okay, so there's this guy. Now let's decide what we want to put in the shaker. So I have this glitter. I have this green, which is super cute. So we can use some green. And let's add some silver. That's our glitter. And I also have these little silver sequins, so we'll use some of those too. So I'm going to take this and just blow the dust out. And you can clean it if you feel like it's kind of messy, but I think it's going to be fine. So we'll do that. Now let's put some goodie in it. A little bit of silver sequins. Not too awful many. I won't need many with this card. Just something for it to be able to shake. Do something like that. And then just for fun, let's add the glitter. I think I'm going to skip the silver because I've got the silver sequins and just do the green glitter. I've been so brave with glitter. So brave. If you know me, you know what I mean. I do not do glitter. Not too much. It doesn't take as much as you think in these little shaker cards. They really do pretty well. I have to clean that glitter out of my way. I can't stand it. Okay. Now then, let's peel this backer off. You have to hold it and be real careful not to flick this piece up because if you do you're going to have a mess because that's going to go flying everywhere. Okay, now then. I did not cut a piece to go behind this and here's the reason. Normally you'd cut a piece the same size or slightly smaller so you could sit it right on there. This is going directly onto my card. I have a runaway sequin over here. Okay, this is going directly on my card. So here's what I'm going to do. I want this to be angled on my card just like this in this angle. And I want my card to sit here. So I'm just going to sit this on top and let it land. And then when we turn it over, we have our shaker. Look how cute. Love it. Now let's do some decorating here and down here. I'm going to stamp on here. And if you're leery of doing this, if you're not sure you can make this happen, go ahead and stamp it, you know, before you cut it. You could do something like this and do it. But I'm just going to stamp right on there. I think we'll be fine. I want to put... 
This looks like good times to me. <laughs> looks very much like good times. Okay. Looks very party-ish. Let's put it right down here in the corner. Just press and give it a little wiggle. Good times. Now, if you don't have enough adhesive behind that, you might have a problem. So you might want to stamp it beforehand. And now let's put a little something down here. You know I have to put that camera somewhere. I love it, and I haven't got to play with it yet, so I'm going to ink this real quick. Stamp it down. It is so cute. I love it. I'm probably biased. I love it so much. Now I'm going to cut it out with my fussy cutting scissors. And this just basically means I'm going to cut around it and just leave a little border all the way around. Now there's something I like to do. Whenever I design a stamp set, I don't like to have a lot of intricate edges. I want you to be able to stamp stuff and paper piece or trim around like this really easy but still get a nice image. So that is why you'll see a lot of straight edges. A lot of smoother, not so frilly edges. I just, I think that's so helpful when you're doing, um, when you have to fussy cut. One little notch out of here. So see, this is just all straight lines. Just turning your scissors around. So now we have a little camera. And now we got to color this guy, right? So I've really gone into it. I've pulled out some Copics. Now I'm really getting brave. This is Marigold V05. So I'm going to use this little tip and color the bottom in this. Not doing any shading. I'm just doing some coloring. You could do this with some markets if you had some market markers because we're not doing any shading. So there's the marigold color. And now I have this green I'm going to use on the top portion. Now I'm going to use this bright yellow. And I'm going to do the flash in the bright yellow. That's the button, not the flash. This is the flash. Do the flash in the bright yellow. I'm going to do the lens in the yellow. No, I think I'm not. I'm going to do the trim in the yellow. Now for that little lens piece, I'm going to use some Wink of Stella. This is the clear. I think that'll be cute to kind of shimmer that up. I'm going to use it here. And then I'm going to go over the flash with it too. Just to give me some more shimmer like the card has. So I've colored it. I've added the Wink of Stella. And now I'm going to put some dimension... Um, dimensional or some foam tape on the back so that I can get a little height out of it. I think this will be cute to be popped up at the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to put this little guy down here at the bottom like this. And I'm going to call that done. Look, it's a little shaky shake. I love this. This was the whole reason I wanted to bring this stamp set back was so that we could do shaker cards with it. And there's a million other things you can do with these little guys from scrapbook layouts to greeting cards to mini albums. You name it. Wouldn't a waterfall album be cute made out of these? I think so too. All right, guys. So there's that. The stamp sets that I introduced today, I'll show you those one more time. They are Oh Snap, which like I said, this is the re-release. We brought this one back. And the companion uh, set, which is Oh Snap Friends. Look for more companion sets in the future that will be other themes. And that's how you'll know the differences in this little um, bracket box there. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I hope you really enjoyed this one. And I look forward to making a bunch of cards and seeing what you guys create with them. I think it's super cute. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.